In today's webinar, we'll be showing you how to export data from some of the more common databases. And this will by no means be all the data sources that we are taking care of, but it's going to be the most common databases that you're going to be sending to us. The first database that we're going to work with today is Bullet Track. We're going to walk you through step-by-step step how to send the database from Bowler Track to us. To send that to us, you're going to go to Database, you're going to go to Open, and you're going to go to the Bullet Track. Once you do this, uh, it's going to say your Bullet Track has expired. If it says that, go ahead and contact us to get your new license key. We will give you a new license key, and you will enter it into this screen right here for the setup option. Once you do that, it'll let you into Bullet Track. So let me go ahead and get you a database that will allow us in. So you're inside a data, uh, the Bullet Track database now. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to Help. You're going to go to Upload Database. In the Authorization window, you're going to type Help and the explanation point, And then you'll hit OK. This will send a backup to National so that we can actually take that and import it into Customer Connect for you. Once you do that, you're going to hit Connect, and it's going to send the backup to us. Once we get the backup, we will start importing that as soon as possible. And when it's done, you'll receive an email letting you know that the import is done. Okay. Just to go over that again, just to make sure we're all on the same page, to export from Bullet Track, you're going to open up Bullet Track, and you're going to log into the database. If it's expired, go ahead and hit OK. And then again, call us if you have an expired key, and we will give you a key that will last until September. Um, after you get in, you're going to go to Help, and you're going to go to Upload Database. In the authorization box, you're going to type in Help and the explanation point. You're going to hit OK, and you're going to hit Connect if that comes up. And again, this is going to send that database to us, and as soon as it's finished, we will inform you. The next database that we're going to do today is going to be the Constant Contact Database. Um, this is an email service that some of you have signed up for. Um, and if you have, you will go to, to the Constant Contact. And you're going to go log in and go to Contacts. And then you're going to go over to the Export button. And then you have right here a contact list. Now this is going to be, if you choose all active contacts, this is going to be everybody that hasn't been put into a removal list, you know, due to bounces and things like that. Um, this is going to be every single contact that is in your constant contact. Um, if you have several lists in there and you want to group them by that list, you'll actually have to choose the drop down there and choose the list and export them one at a time. And just to show you what that looks like, you'll hit the drop down. And this is going to be all the list that you have inside of Constant Contact. Again, the active contacts will not have the removed contacts or the do not mail list. And these are going to be considered all of your other lists. So if you want these grouped by each individual list, you'll have to actually export these one at a time and send those to us so that we can import those into those groups. But this one we're going to do all active contacts. So we're going to choose active contacts. And then we're going to choose select all. Now on the select all, it's going to even select all the custom fields. Now even if you do not use the custom fields, please go ahead and leave them checked and then send this to that file as well. That way if there's any information that gets put into that field, we can actually pull that out for you. Next thing you want to do is you want to export as a CSV. This is going to bring up the Save dialog box. And you can save this to anywhere on your computer. Once you do that, what you're going to do is you're actually going to email that file up to National. Now, make sure that you use the uh, ticket number that was provided from you in the welcome email. That way, we can actually tie those to the right center. So just to go over this with you, to export to Constant Contact, you're going to log into Constant Contact. You're going to click on the contacts. You're going to click on Export. You're going to click the drop down to choose Active Contacts. And if you have a large list you want to keep separate, you'll need to export those individually. And then on the information to export, choose Select All. 
you're going to click export as a CSV and then you're going to save that file and you're going to send it to us with a ticket number please make sure you put the ticket number on there so that we can actually tie that to the correct sender. The next database that we're going to use is exporting from BLS, which is the Bowling League Secretary Program. You're going to go to Start, Programs, CDE Software, and then the Master Database. On the right-hand side of that, you're going to click on Import Export. If you have an earlier version than 2010, the import export will be at the very top of the screen. If you your version has the choice export to Excel, and if it doesn't, choose the one that says export to Bolitrack. Then you're going to click on save and save that to the computer. And then of course you're going to email us that file and make sure you include your ticket number. Again, that way we can make sure that the uh, correct center is credited to that. So that is the three most common of the uh, databases, but there are far more Kids Bowl Free, Conquer Systems, and any other database that you're using to put data into right now. Go ahead and send us any of those and then we will get those imported for you. Once the import is done, you will get an email back from us letting you know that the import has been processed and you'll also receive a file with everybody that was excluded from the import for whatever reason they had, whether it's no name, uh, no contact information, bad data, whatever the, the reason is, you'll get that back. You'll be able to fix that and you can either manually input it yourself or you can send it back to us to import into the customer connect. Um, starting the, in about a week or so, we're going to be doing uh, Customer Connect 101 and 201 classes. The 101 class will consist of all the basic features of Customer Connect and the differences between Customer Connect and Bolitrack for you Bolitrack users. And then the 201 class will be the more advanced marketing plans and things like that. So we'll be looking for the email to get invited to those classes. And that'll be the end of the webinar today. If there's any questions, please call support at 817-385-8490 or send us an email at support at bpaa.com.